Boy, oh boy, is it quite a day. Hunter Biden, all three counts found guilty. I did call this one, as you know, because you listen and you hear what I say on the air. I knew there was no way around this. The moment that, and there's other news stories we'll get to as well, which I'll line up in a second, but I want to dive right into the Hunter Biden situation just because uh, this has been a long time coming. And uh, meaning any, any semblance of justice in the Hunter Biden fiasco, although I will tell you this is, this is a, a tiny consolation of justice, really. It should be much, much more. I'll get into that. Uh, but I, I knew that they were in trouble here. I knew they were in trouble when the defense was essentially maybe Hunter, you know, wasn't high when he checked the form or something. That's that's not a thing. As I said on the on the uh, error, I think it was yesterday. If that was a if that was a reasonable defense for Hunter, it would nullify the entire law. Now, as as a quick aside, I actually don't like this law, and I'm because I believe in principle and honesty. I don't like this law. I don't think that people in states where, for example, they have you know, medical marijuana uh, and they have legalized it at the state level, you're still in violation of federal law. When you do, there's it's a mess. Okay, the law is a mess. It needs to be cleaned up. Put that aside, though. Why am I telling you uh, that this is just a little bit, um, a little bit of justice for the situation here? The most egregious crime that Hunter Biden has committed, as a matter of statute, but more importantly, the one that matters to all of us, isn't checking some form about his buying of a uh, of a handgun years ago. I frankly don't care. The law is the law, they tell us. They certainly told us that about Trump. So this is what the system is supposed to produce under this circumstance, a guilty verdict. The facts were not in dispute. This is very obvious. But the most, the most egregious thing that Hunter Biden has done is money laundering to hide the selling out of his country to foreign interests through the promise of access to his father, then the vice president, and now the president, that's what really should upset the American people the most. And that is why the media won't touch it. 